One of the best ways for artists to improve their visual storytelling is by understanding how to create and use strong silhouettes. I'm Doug Leffler, and welcome to StoboDart. Our human eyes perceive shapes faster than we perceive other details of an object. This may be a lingering survival instinct, whereas if we saw an outline like this against the morning sky, we might think, if we make a good hunt, we will have dinner tonight. And if we saw a silhouette like this, we would think, if we don't run, we will become dinner tonight. When I started my career at Disney, my mentors drilled me on the importance of strong silhouettes. Most animation drawings are only on screen for a twelfth of a second, so it's important that the poses read quickly. We were encouraged to flip our drawings on our animation discs and use the light box to shade them from behind so that we could test the readability of our poses and silhouette. I'm going to draw two versions of a pose of a man running. The first one will be a viable pose. Uh, it'll tell the story, but the second one should tell the story quicker. Now, the fact that one pose reads quicker than another doesn't always mean it's a better pose, although often it is. Uh, and the fact that something takes us longer to mentally digest is useful to us as well for reasons that I'm going to explain shortly. But you can see here that the second pose uh, has more visual information in the outline and is a more dynamic shape. In this uh, second example, I'm drawing a man holding a gun pointed towards camera, and the first version will tell the story. Uh, the second one should just tell the story quicker. And again, for the same reasons that the external outline of the drawing has more visual information in it and is a more dynamic shape. Here's the storyboard I drew from Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This is from the end of the music duel. And here's how it works in silhouette. This is from the Steven Spielberg film, The BFG. And this is from Pacific Rim Uprising. Now I'm going to show you a series of drawings, first in their original form and then reduced down to black against white. So you can see how the design of the silhouettes facilitates the storytelling in these compositions. Even if you remove all of the internal detail, they still get their point across. When you understand how to use silhouettes to make a story point clear, you also know how to make one less clear, which is equally valuable. We could, for example, draw a storyboard of our protagonist running with a group of other people, where he's the same size as everybody else, and all their poses communicate the idea of running, but this one is the quickest and easiest for us to perceive, so it's where our eye goes first. In this composition, there are three silhouettes at play, but they all read with different degrees of clarity. So this is the primary read, this is the secondary read, and this is the tertiary read. When you understand how using the degree of clarity of silhouettes can move a viewer's eye around a composition, you can turn a single drawing into a three-act play. Another important application of silhouettes is in the area of design. Now, you might have seen concept artists working this way. By working first in silhouette, whether they're designing characters or mechs or spaceships, it forces them to create appealing shapes that have an immediately recognizable outline. Now, in theory, storyboard artists aren't supposed to be designing a film, but in practice, it sometimes happens. I also believe, as I've stated before, that the best way to know how to tell somebody else's story is to learn how to tell your own story, which means at some point, hopefully, you'll be designing your own characters or your own spaceships, and you'll come up with something indelible. So we've talked about clarity and we've talked about design. The last aspect of silhouettes that I want to discuss is speed. As storyboard artists, oh, we have to draw fast. There's always too much work and never enough time to get it all done. So when push comes to shove, if all you focus on is the external outline of your characters and your environments, your drawings will still communicate uh, and you will have accomplished your task. You can punch the clock and go home. So clarity, design, and speed. This is my first video dedicated to drawing. 
And I'm giving you my best advice on drawing up front so that you can start practicing it until the discipline becomes ingrained. Understanding how to create and use strong silhouettes is as important to a story artist as anatomy or perspective. The last thing I'll leave you with is the speed drawing of a Smilodon, also known as a saber-toothed tiger, and a reminder that if you're out hunting and you spot one of these, run. <laughs>